Hey yo, welcome to our channel today. N-I-T-A-H for wanting a divorce because of a surname. My wife and I had difficulties in conceiving due to an accident I had when I was younger. After three years, we finally had our daughter three weeks ago. Baby and mom are home and healthy. But I have been on the couch due to an issue over the surname. My wife was previously in a long-term relationship with her ex, who committed us due to mental health issues after he returned from service abroad. Her son from her first relationship stays with us. He's 12 in a month's time. Her son has her ex's surname. She wants our baby to have her ex's surname. She still goes by that name so that her son doesn't feel left out from his new sibling and future siblings, and because he had a better name than mine. I tried to compromise by saying since I practically raised her son, he can have my surname. That way he won't feel left out, and she can take my name too. She said no, as he has had his name all his life, and shouldn't have to change it to appease me. I tried to explain that they have two separate fathers, so it's natural that they have different names. I suggested she uses her maiden surname name and hyphenate it with mine for our baby and she can hyphenate her maiden name with her exes for her son. That way the siblings will have almost the same name. That was turned down too. We have to register the baby's name next Thursday. I told her that we should probably get couples therapy, and in the meantime register her with my name. She turned that down too, and said she went through the trouble of carrying her and pushing her out, and she should get to decide this on her own. I even asked her son, and he said he doesn't mind having separate names as he knows his father was father, but I am dad. He doesn't care if his sister has a different surname. I told my wife this, and she said I am emotionally manipulating her son. We had an argument five days ago and haven't spoken much. I didn't want it to continue like this, as this should be our happy moment. Two days ago, I told her that the baby either gets my surname or we are getting a divorce. I told her that perhaps her dead husband could help raise our daughter with her since she doesn't want to acknowledge me as the dad. She called me a manipulator and says it's not fair that she doesn't get to decide the baby's first name on her own or the surname. Her suggestions for the first name when she was pregnant were feminine versions of her ex's name. Think Alexis, Alexia, Alexandra for Alexander, and his actual name if we had had a boy. Today, I called the solicitor and she overheard. She is telling me that I am forcing her into a corner with this name thing, even though we went with her choice of first name after I sifted out the one similar to her ex's and my choice is a middle name. I just want some outside opinions on whether I am doing the right thing. Like, what am I doing with life anymore? It's so messed up. Edit. She is 43. Most of her life was under her maiden name. She has gone under his name for about 10 years, but she didn't officially change it until she added her ex-husband's first and middle name to her son's official name when he was seven. Then she changed hers too. We were dating and exclusive, but I didn't mind thinking she was doing it for her son. It has only been her legal name for about six years. She also wanted to give our daughter a feminine version of his name and the exact same name as her ex if we had had a boy, by the way. Her son has always been positive to me adopting him, but she has been against it and won't allow it. She used the excuse that a child can't make that decision. From the comments, I'm not sure if you still can, but back when me and my brother were born, my dad went off and registered our names with her so they say no assistance input from my mom. It might mean more sofa time, but at this point, your wife is manipulative and ignores your wishes and input over everything and very clearly needs some help to deal with the loss of her ex. Her son doesn't care. He'd probably be fine with you adopting him. I don't think any of this is about her not liking your surname. It's about her being able to pretend he's still alive. You don't resemble him at all, do you, OP? I do look like him, but my hair is a different shade of his. The baby has my mother's eyes and her hair similar to her ex's. I spoke to my parents and they say if the baby looks like him it may have triggered her. She doesn't. She looks like a pink piece of dough. Update. A quick update is my DMs were full of requests from the advice given on here. I contacted the registration office 
and they told me that as long as you are married, only one parent is needed for the name registration. I wanted to appeal to her better nature and got her, mine, and her ex's parents involved. Her sister tagged along for this mediation discussion. Turns out my parents and my three siblings via group chat are the only ones that agreed with me on either my surname or her maiden name. Her parents and sister also her other siblings via group chat agreed with her, saying I should do it as she was the one that carried her. Surprisingly, her ex's parents thought it would be a nice gesture to name my daughter with their surname, and to my shock, revealed the first name I agreed to that was her suggestion wasn't a female variant of her ex's, but was the name her ex wanted to name their child if they had a girl. Instead, she blushed when that piece of information got out. When I called her on it, I asked her if it would be fair to name our daughter after one of my exes, to which she replied that I only had a body count of three, and that two had the same name and both names were ugly. When everyone left, I tried to reason with her, but she slammed the bedroom door in my face and locked it. During the discussion with the parents, I tried asking her ex's parents if they would be okay with me naming their grandson after me after I adopt him and they said they would never allow either adoption or name change. When I asked them if it was fair for my daughter to have their name, they said they felt their grandson was closer to his sister than I was to her as a father and both should have the same surname. They also ridiculed my choice in both first and middle name for my daughter. This is a couple that I, up until that point, had a reasonably good relationship with. I raised their grandson as my own and was very surprised that this is how they felt about me. In the morning, she didn't come out and I left her breakfast by the door, hoping she would calm down enough by the time we would register to discuss it as adults. A few of her friends phoned and asked me why it was so important for me in the year of 2023 to give my surname to my child. I explained my side and why I had reservations. They still felt I was being unreasonable. On the Tuesday before the name appointment Thursday, she picked a fight with me and said she was going with her original name, the female version of her ex. She went as far as saying that she would rather unalive herself than give her daughter my name. So I am a little ashamed about this, but as I pictured that she would no longer be in my future, I called the police on her saying she threatened to commit suicide. I am not proud of this. They came and took her despite her protesting she was okay and it was only said in the heat of the moment. I guess I egged on the police telling them it could be postpartum depression and that I felt it was not safe for her to be around our baby. I registered the name on my own without her blessing and participation. She was still not released by then. Our daughter's first, middle, and surname are all chosen by me. She obviously has some unresolved issues, and I hope she gets the help she needs. There is something wrong with her as she instructed her ex's parents to collect her son and my daughter to look after via her sister until she could get out. When her ex's parents came by and tried to take the baby, I told them to f asterisk 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 off. They threatened with police, and I told them to go ahead, so they left with their grandson. Her parents came by during the weekend and wanted the baby to take to her, telling me not to be difficult. I told them no. We had a visit by a health visitor and the midwife when she was released. She didn't come home and went to her parents. She has been there since, although she tried twice to take the baby from me, I changed the locks. She did drop off expressed milk for the baby and has continued to do so via her sister. I contacted a solicitor for the divorce, and for now I am keeping the baby as even the health visitor said that social services are going to get involved due to her mental state, and I am the better option for care for now. There is no saving my marriage, and I doubt she ever loved me with other things that have come out since then. I will always love her son and hold out hope that someday when he is old enough to make his own decisions, he will seek me out. But as my solicitor put it, don't hold your breath for that to happen. My older brother and his wife are staying with me to help out for now. Their children are all teens, and they have done this new baby thing five times and all their children made it to their teens, so I am listening to all their advice. From the comments, get a good solicitor who is well-versed in family court. Follow the advice. 
double check that your ex won't be able to petition to get the marital home back and you and baby removed. There may be some preventative action you can take against this. I believe you. I'm also in the UK and have known the police to remove and hold people overnight for their safety. It's section 135 and 136 of the Mental Health Act. It's a heartbreaking situation, but I'm glad you've set your daughter up for a more stable life in name and custody going forwards. I hope your ex gets the help she needs. Good luck. My solicitor is a good one. She has clearly done similar stuff before. As she said, once the baby is named, it will take a judge to rule on a change of name, even if my soon-to-be ex-wife, by some miracle, gets full custody. She won't be able to change the name without my consent or a ruling from a judge. It's her name until she is old enough to have a save herself. The police did quote some section of the Mental Health Act, but it didn't quite register with me, as there were other things happening that day. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our story. Your support means the world to us. If you enjoyed what you heard, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more captivating content. Your engagement fuels our passion, and we're grateful to have you on this journey with us. Stay tuned for more exciting stories and adventures.